Tell our friends what we're gonna draw today. One fish. Yeah, one fish from one fish, two fish, blue, blue fish. red fish, blue fish. <laughs> you got your marker? Yeah. We hope you get to follow along with us. You got something to draw with and some paper. If we ever go too fast, what can they do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video if you need more time. Ready to start? Yeah. We're first gonna draw one fish's eye. And we're gonna draw it over here on the left side of our paper, right about here. And we're gonna draw an oval shape. And watch this. We're gonna, and it's kind of tipped too. See how it's tipped in? So we can draw it right about here. Draw an oval. Yeah. Okay, now down here at the bottom, we're gonna draw a U shape. And this is for his pupil inside of his eye. We can draw it right down here at the bottom. Yeah, now we're gonna draw his head and we're gonna draw a C shape right by his eye. We're gonna draw a C shape that goes like this and then it's gonna come down in front of his face. So start right here and then draw it down here. And one fish kind of looks like a dog. It's, he's got a dog nose for some reason. <laughs> so we're gonna draw little wrinkles right here for his nose. We're gonna draw two little wrinkles. Just two little lines that come down. Good. Now we're gonna draw his nose that comes up. So a little line, diagonal line that comes up and then we're gonna draw his nose and it's just a little oval at the top. Yeah, perfect. Now we're gonna draw his nose coming down. And we're gonna draw his mouth and we're gonna draw a big U shape. It's gonna come down like this. We're gonna come down and then back up. Is that fun? Mm -hmm. Let's draw a big U, big smile. Yeah. Now, right here, we can draw his cheek line, Merp. chubby cheeks, and we're gonna draw his mouth open, so we're gonna draw a U that comes down and then back up. Good job, man, you did it. Now, let's draw the bottom of his lip. So we're gonna draw a line that comes down and then back up, looks like a J. Now, let's draw his belly, we draw a curve comes out of his mouth. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now let's come up here and let's draw more of his, the top of his body. We're gonna draw little wrinkles behind his eye. We're gonna draw one, and then we're gonna draw two more, smaller ones, like that. Look like wrinkles. So we draw three wrinkles, one, and then two more. Little ones, two, three. Perfect. He looks like a wrinkly fish, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Now let's draw his little fins down here at the bottom. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out of his body. So we start right here and we're gonna draw a little curve that comes down. Then we're gonna draw a sideways V. It's gonna come in and then back out. Up, back out. Yep, and then we're gonna draw another line that comes back in. There's his fin. Good job. Now, if we want, we can add an extra little line right here. Okay, now let's draw the rest of his belly. We're gonna imagine this line going behind his fin right here, and then it's gonna come out, and we're just gonna draw a little, it's gonna curve one way and then back the other way. Kind of looks like an S line. And you can start right here, and then just draw a little curve that comes up to there. Yeah. Now we're gonna draw his tail coming back down, and we're gonna, we're gonna draw it coming down like this. Right. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. That looks like, it's a little tricky. It comes down one way and then curves back the other way. You did it. You did it perfect. Good job, man. Okay, now we're gonna come back up and we're gonna finish the top of his body. And it's gonna be really simple. We're gonna start here. We're gonna draw a big curve. Comes down like this. What? Look at that. It's like a seal fish. Yeah, it looks like a seal fish, but we're gonna draw his little tail at the end. So we'll start right here, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes up and then connects into that back part. You can do it. And then come connect in. Oh yeah, you did it perfect. Now right here at the end, we're gonna curve back the other way. It's a little curve going down. Start right here and draw an upside down U. There you go. Now we're gonna come back up. This is to finish his tail. And then we're gonna go back out again. 
Looks like another sideways V like we did over here on his front fin. Yeah. And then we're going to come back in. So we're going to come like this and then back in. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Now let's draw his top fin. We're going to draw a curve that comes right out of his wrinkle and it's going to come up like that. So we're going to start right here and then curve all the way up. Then we're going to curve back down. So we're going to curve back down. Almost looks like a shark, doesn't it? Start there, curve down to his body. Yeah. Now we're going to draw his other fin up here so he looks 3D. So we're going to draw another line that curves out right next to this fin. It looks the same, doesn't it? We'll start right here and draw another line that looks the same as his other fin. Then we're going to draw a small sideways V. Go up and back down. And then we'll curve into his body or into his fin. Yeah. Okay, now we're missing a few more details over here on his forehead. He's got an eyelash. So let's start right here next to his eye. We're going to draw an S line. Curves one way and then back the other way and it comes out of his head. Does that look cool? So we'll start here and then we're going to curve all the way up. Yeah. Now, in front of it, we're going to draw one more eyelash. And it's kind of big. And then we're going to draw a smaller eyelash in front of that one. Behind the big eyelash, we're going to draw one more smaller eyelash right there. And then he also has whiskers up here. That's why he kind of looks like a dog. We're going to draw a little line right there and another little line there. Now let's add a few more dots up here for shading. I'm just going to add little dots right here next to those whiskers. Does that look cool? Mm -hmm. You can just add like four or five right here next to his whiskers on his nose. All right, now we've finished our fish, except I'm going to add some shading to mine, but you can leave it off to keep this lesson easier. Does that sound like fun? Yeah. Now I'm going to fast forward this part, but you guys at home can pause the video to match the same shading that I do. Now I added the shading to his tail and it's really just a bunch of lines and as you go forward on his body, you get smaller and smaller until it's just a little dot. So you guys can pause the video right now to match that same shading if you want, or you can leave it off just like yours. Now I'm going to add another little line right here on his fin, and I'm going to add another little line right here on his back fin. And then you can do this part. We're going to add a little shadow inside of his mouth. And just color the front part. Yeah. All right, so we did it. We finished drawing our one fish and it turned out awesome. It's okay that our drawings look different, right? Yeah. Because what's the most important thing? To have fun. Yeah, to have fun and to practice. Yeah. Now one fish in the Dr. Seuss book is actually white, but I think we should color our fishes. What, what color do you think we should color? Blue. Blue. All right. You ready to fast forward? <laughs> yeah. All right, we did it. We finished drawing our blue fish or one fish. <laughs> And when you guys at home can color them any color, actually, you can color them red or yellow and you green or green. Yeah. And you guys could draw the background, too. That would look awesome. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your one fish. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.